In his single poem, which he called Ode, the writer Arthur O'Shaughnessy said, we are the music makers and we are the dreamers of dreams, wandering by lone sea breakers and sitting by desolate streams on whom the pale moon gleams. Yet we are the movers and shakers of the world forever, it seems." Unquote. What a thought, musicians, the movers and shakers of our world. This is not as far-fetched as you might think. Look at the world as we see it today. Would we find our planet inhabitable without the sounds, the richness of life in a Mozart sonata? the melodies of a Brahms piece that simply carries us through the day, the harmony of a Schubert song, the music of Elgar, Bird Whistle, that piece heard on the radio just the other day that was only composed a month ago. All this sustains us. The adventures of the new, the comfort of the long loved, Music, making classical music available to all. Understanding that this can enrich the lives of the music makers at the same time that the listener, the music lover, is given that special something that feeds the soul. That thing about which Aldous Huxley said, after silence, that which comes nearest to expressing the inexpressible is music. Understanding that music education is an essential part of the nourishment that we should offer our children. Educators tell us that regardless the socioeconomic level of the parents are guardians of a student whose education includes a study in the arts, that student performs better in all other studies, having learned through experience in making something, a painting, a song, conquering the C-sharp minor scale on the piano. That practice, repetition, they learn that this makes for a better outcome. They find within themselves that voice that might otherwise remain unheard, they listen to their own inner voices. And we hope this makes it easier to hear the voices of those around them with more ease, tolerance, understanding, acceptance, making for fuller, more responsible citizens. Can the arts afford us all of this? Oh, yes, it can. Oh, yes, it does. I see this in my own students, those 11 to 15 year olds that come in a bit shy, but full of talent. And in just a few months of studying, they come up to you and say, not that I want to be a violinist. I'm studying the violin and one of these days I'm going to perform at Carnegie Hall. They're that sure of themselves and it is wonderful to see And I'm delighted to be able to say this to all of you. As we say in Georgia, keep on keeping on. Thank you.